Uh, another week in the books. How did things look this last week and in the scrimmage on Saturday? Well, uh, which I thought I expected. Uh, the defense uh, definitely uh, showed up a little bit better than they did the previous week. Um, I thought they did a very, very good job. Um, they caused two turnovers. Uh, they had a fumble and they also had an interception. Uh, they ended up having like five sacks. Um, and probably the biggest thing that was very, very uh, exciting um, the offense got down about the one yard line there, first and goal on the one yard line, and they kept them out. Uh, four downs, they didn't score. The offense didn't score, and so that was a, a big, big turnaround. And so, very, very pleased to see our defense respond in a great way, not only just in that one series there, but really the whole day. Offense scored four touchdowns, so I'm not going to sit here and say it was a horrible day from the offensive perspective. The negative from an offense is that they had seven uh, penalties, um, you know, two turnovers, and then they didn't score in the fourth down. So uh, some of those things there was offensive, uh, didn't do some things, but also I got to give a lot of credit to the uh, to the defense. So a uh, very productive day, got a lot of things going on. I think the other thing that was good to see is the, we did uh, pretty much the whole uh, day. We went against the wind from an offensive perspective. They went against the wind. It was a pretty windy day, uh, you know, up in the 15, 20 mile an hour winds and so on and so forth. So to see them still score four touchdowns, uh, and all that, you kind of like that. But then there were some things that uh, we can't improve on. So we got a lot of reps. I think we got about 80-plus reps total as far as uh, with the whole group there, as far as the first group, the second group, third group, and, and so on. And so we got a lot of things to evaluate. Uh, again, some people are making some good progress. Jawan Wells had a, a very good day, had two sacks and, and a pretty good tackles and so on and so forth. I think the D-line was steady. Um, I liked the way our defense ran to the football just watching the uh, video and Again, I like to watch the tape and seeing what all 11 guys are doing. Now, not all 11 guys are going to be on a tackle, but what are they doing on every play? And so we really, really emphasize that. Like we do every year, uh, there's always some good days. There's always some not so good days as far as just people hustling to the football. And uh, we saw that out of our defense had a, had a much, much better day. And, and all those things, special teams-wise there, we did uh, miss an extra point. Uh, we did make one field goal. Uh, we worked on some things in our punting situation there too, so we, uh, you know, got some things there in every phase that we're working on. The only thing that we probably won't work on as much, uh, if you really want to say, is kickoff, kickoff return. But we're doing drills. When I say drills, it's not going 11 on 11, uh, but we're working on some of the techniques that a kickoff team would do. We're working on some techniques that some of the kickoff return people would do, and so we're working on that phase. We're just not going to work on it at all this spring as a group, uh, but we're still working on it to get better as we uh, prepare for the fall. Trey Turner graduating. Uh, who are you looking at at punter so far in the spring? Well, right now we got Aiden Alves. Uh, he's the guy right now that we're uh, anticipating to be the guy. But uh, in the fall, we'll end up bringing another person involved, and uh, we'll see what happens at that point in time. You mentioned the defensive line with that big uh, one-yard stand. Who are some guys besides Wells and Avery's returning, and you got Mitchell uh, Sanders also returning? Who are some guys up there that you're really like? You're really liking what you see out of them early this spring. Well, I think uh, Hurtado, if I had to say one guy jumps out that has improved from last year, uh, he's moving a lot better. He's understanding what he needs to do a lot better on things. Elefante, uh, bringing him in as a junior college guy, uh, he's doing some good things there for that goes. Pearson has done some good things. So I've seen improvement. That's all I want to see is continue to get better every day. And D-line's doing that. I think our linebackers, their cores, are working pretty hard on things of that. The defensive backs are solid. I think uh, the one other guy that's probably really improved a lot is Malik Matthews. Uh, he's played some throughout the last couple of years, but I would say this is no question it's been his best spring and, and his best play. Uh, very physical, uh, been able to cover very, very well. And so on the back end, I would probably have him the standout guy at this point in time. But again, there's a lot of good people that are doing some good things. How's the linebacking core looking with now with Solomon Ajay healthy, getting him in there, moving Brandon Tillman down to go along with uh, Irons and Bradley, who both played last year? Yeah, I think they're steady. I think this is probably going to be a chance we're going to have the most depth uh, as we go into the football season right now as we're moving forward. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with what's going on. I think it's definitely what's going to – Brandon Tillman moving in as a linebacker, I, I see that being a very, very good move for us. He still has some ways to go as far as learning some things in that position. But I like the progress that he's making each and every day. He's learning something a little bit more. He's responding things in a, in a very, very, very good way. And so um, I think the linebacker course should be a very, very solid group. And uh, with the speed, I like to see fast speed at the linebacker position. Even though it may not be quite as big, uh, I'd rather have a little bit more guys that can be athletic and, and then can maybe run from sideline to sideline. You mentioned not working on kickoff returns, punt returns. Are you working on those at all? Or are, those, are there some guys who are emerging, um, like DJ Stubbs, who uh, had some punt returns last year? 
Well, I think the DJ stuff will be our leading guy as far as that goes. And, uh, again, I think the other guy that we're kind of uh, giving a little bit more reps there, Cephas Reddick, is taking some uh, snaps back there just to see how they do. B.J. Farrell is a steady guy if we always have to use him. I would say those are the main three people that we're using as far as punt returners. Who are you uh, looking at at um, Holder so far? And then also how has Alex Perbert been looking? Yeah, I think at the holding position, uh, we're still trying to figure that all out as we progress. Uh, Landon Brown is really the guy that's probably leading a little bit of eight nows of the top two. Uh, we have some other guys that we're just trying out, whether the receivers and different people that we're just trying to get used to possibly being a holder. But those will be the top two at this point in time. Again, eight nows and really Landon Brown. How's Austin Mock doing as the long snapper? Uh, as a red, guy who came in redshirt last year, what he learned uh, from Hunter Winstead and what he's been able to do this spring and get more reps of that position. Uh, Austin Mock, uh, I think it's really him and David King. They're battling it out. Uh, Austin Mock has been very, very steady. has good uh, speed as far as on the snaps getting back there. I think there's going to be a little bit more inconsistent, a little bit on the location uh, that we're trying to get a little bit toned down on that. But uh, I anticipate him and David really battling that out throughout the, the whole camp of uh, in the fall. It's good to have very good, uh, two good ones. And that's why I kind of see it right now. They're both kind of neck and neck, and they're both are very competitive. They both can get the job done. They haven't done it. Uh, in a game, uh, neither one of them at this point in time there per se, uh, but I can feel very, very confident that they can get the job done. With David King, he came in as a linebacker. You played him at, I guess, reserve long snapper. Uh, was that linebacker last year? Is he uh, going to be a linebacker long snapper? Or are you guys waiting to see how spring and fall progresses before putting him in a position? He's going to do both. He's he's playing linebacker. Uh, he's definitely in the mix of linebacker position. You know, he's he's very very uh, good in knowing what to do and how to do things of that nature. I think he's definitely in the mix in those top four or five spots. And so, he's going to be a linebacker. I can say that for sure. You know, uh, he's going to be battling for the starting job there for sure at the uh, long snapper position. Uh, and we're glad he's on our football team. But I think he's going to be very very instrumental in what we're trying to get accomplished. Probert's got two years underneath his belt now. Um, is he making the strides you'd hope he'd make? And what are some things that he needs to work on for uh, this year? Well, I think consistency. Uh, Probert, uh, you know, I think last year was a, a solid year, OK year. Uh, I think hopefully this year can continue to improve. And when I say improve, it's more consistency, number one, as far as hitting every one of our uh, extra points. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say every one of them maybe his, uh, uh, his fault per se. But uh, the way I see it as extra points, a uh, kicker got to make it. Uh, and then as far as him, uh, probably inside the 42-yard line, 43-yard field goals, uh, hopefully we're in that 80, high 80s percentage as far as making, uh, as far as field goals. So those are the things that we talk about. Those are the things that we um, want him to do. You know, he has a new holder coming in as far as that goes, uh, um, you know, a, a third new holder here in three years that he would be here. And, you know, again, he's still got to do what he got to do, and I think he feels good. He's healthy, and uh, he's doing all the things that I think he needs to do from that perspective. I'd like to mention a little bit about, uh, I think we had a great um, weekend there. We invited the uh, professors um, to our uh, scrimmage. Uh, we kind of set up something there. Uh, Joe Daly and uh, Kyle DeArmond kind of spoke to me a little bit about some other teams were doing some of those things and brought this up to say, hey, we may want to do this at our program. And so we uh, talked about it, and uh, we made an invitation, uh, gave it to all of our players, uh, asked them to invite one professor that they may want to invite to the scrimmage. Uh, I think we had somewhere around a total of somewhere close to 25 to 30 total people. Again, we told them to invite their, their you know, their wives, their husbands, their kids, uh, as far as coming to the um, to the event. And so I know they really, really enjoyed it. I allowed them to come on the football field, kind of standing right behind the. Um, about 20 yards back from the line of scrimmage. So that was a kind of a little unique view for them. And they all kind of enjoyed that aspect of it to, to be on the field and, and hearing myself talk about a few things that were going on and, and, and describing some plays and, and all those type of things. And then um, once we had a little bit of a, I'm going to say a halftime break, uh, we didn't have our players come and introduce who they invited. Uh, you know, obviously in some cases there was maybe multiple players, you know, that were in that um, uh, particular class. So it may have been two or three guys that had this professor. And so they came up and, and introduced their professor uh, and then their guests that they had with them. And so uh, and then we had them to, to show them around our facilities and all that. So I thought it was just a great thing for us just to, again, just to thank them for what they do for this university uh, and just to have our players to learn how to reach out and ask things for other people and invite people there. Again, it wasn't anything mandatory of that nature, it was just that they see them do their work uh, and just like them going to their class and seeing them do their work. So it was a great um, uh, Saturday uh, afternoon there and uh, I should say a Saturday morning uh, as we had that event.